At this point in our travel series, you should be watching the first episode of our trip to the Albanian mountains. But unfortunately, we did something really silly. We lost our memory card. It was the card that had all of the footage for the first two days of the trip on it, which is now gone forever. To put it in a word, devastated is the most accurate way of describing how we felt. Many tears were shed. <laughs> Especially by me. <laughs> However, we did kind of realise that we are actually incredibly lucky to be here and be travelling at all. We had an amazing experience and yeah, we don't get to share it with you properly, but <laughs> there's going to be many more experiences that we have that we can share with you. And I think something like this was bound to happen at some point. What we have managed to do for you guys though is pull together any footage that we have left from our phones and the drone to try and show you exactly what we got up to. Day one of our trip started with a journey from Skoda to the remote village of Valbona. The first leg of the journey was by car which took probably about a couple of hours. The next part of our journey was a three hour ferry ride through a steep gorge with beautiful views and easily some of the bluest water we've ever seen. After the ferry, we had another drive through the winding mountain roads to the village. Over the next few days, we are staying in a couple of remote Albanian villages and hiking between them. The mountain scenery here is absolutely stunning. Although it's so remote that I probably won't get my morning coffee. <laughs> we stayed in the guest house for one night and that evening set about exploring the local area which included rather a lot of military war bunkers for such a tiny place. We started our second day of the trip bright and early to begin the biggest hiking challenge we faced yet. Today we're hiking from the remote mountain village we stayed in last night, Valbona, to another remote mountain village called Theth. It's a really tough hike though, but the views are, oh my God. <laughs> we feel like we're in Lord of the Rings, it's ridiculous. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. God, 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 taking the hobbits to Isengard. God, 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 God. After a gruelling five hour climb, we finally reached the top and were rewarded with epic views of the valley below. The descent back down was the shorter half of our journey, but considering how steep the mountain paths were, it was still very difficult. We're slowly coming back down out of the mountains. We weren't up there, but we were up there. We've come a long way down. It was really interesting to see the difference in scenery each side of the mountain path. On the way up it had been really kind of dramatic views and bare rock and on the way down it was a lot more wooded, a lot softer mm. I guess. Which was probably a good thing that it was wooded actually because it rained while we were on our way down. So we had some cover from the trees. <laughs> Still a couple of hours to go, how do you feel? Hungry. Do you want a snack? Oh, I've had too many snacks. <laughs> We've now caught you up to the point where we do have footage and we are so sorry that we couldn't share the first half of this journey with you guys. Once again, we are really sorry. <laughs> we wish we had the footage, <laughs> but we do have a lot of footage about tomorrow's video, <laughs> which will be us exploring the beautiful remote village of Feth. Thank you for sticking with us through this video whilst we explain everything, but now we've got a flight to catch. Oh yeah, they don't know where we are, do they? No, they don't. We're currently in Sarajevo in Bosnia and Herzegovina and we're getting a flight to Istanbul and then to Kosovo so we really need to run because we were supposed to check out about five minutes ago, so let's go. Go! <laughs> 